Hi there, this is Rahul and in this movie, I'm going to show you that uh, how you can create this amazing, awesome shine effect on your photos. So, allow me to show you that uh, how you can do it. So here I'm in VS Code Editor and you can see that I have super simple index.html file. Then we have this app.css and here we'll write all our styles. Then we have this JPEG file which we're gonna make use of in this video. So let me just go ahead close it out here and let me get back to right here and let's code our HTML markup. Well that's really gonna be very easy because we need only a single div which is going to have a class of shinebox and then inside that div we need an image in this case rahul.jpg. So I'm just gonna say here this is gonna be shinebox and this is gonna be a div inside this div I'm gonna say here image and source is going to be rahul.jpg which is my image this one okay. So let me just close it and let me get back to my project preview here and you can see there's my image now let me just get back to right here and let's style our body first so i'm just styling my body here and what i want is i want to say here width is going to be let's say 90 percent and then margin is going to be let's say zero auto here and then well i want here gradient background so i have already copied my clipboard i'll paste it right here there we go so this is our gradient and let me just hide this sidebar here by hitting command or control b and if i get back to here you see that now we have this amazing gradient and now what i want here i want my this image to be in complete center well for that we can make use of flex box we can get back to right to here above as here yeah, display is going to be flex here right and then i say here justify and let's say content is going to be center and align item is going to be center if i get back to here it's actually currently horizontal in center but not vertically well that's because we do not have enough height so what we can do we can get back to right here and we can set here height and let's take it 100 percent of the viewport height if i get back to here you see that currently now it is in center now the next thing what i want here is that i get back right here i grab my image here and i say here weight is going to be 100 percent so 100 percent and now if i get back to here you see that is actually 100 percent of the weight it's currently i guess 400 by 400 pixel but don't worry we'll go ahead and decrease its width and height later so let me get back to right here and now it's time to work on this shine box here so we just go ahead copy it i get back to right here i paste it and the first thing i want here is that position because i'll use this position to add that shine effect but currently in order to add position to our sign effect we first need this position to be in parent so now this is actually parent box and here we want sign effect so i need to set here position absolute now what we can do here we can simply set width and height of the box so we can simply set 200 pixel width and height is also going to be let's say 200 pixel so it's going to be square or uh, like shine box okay and now if i get back to here you see this is actually that small here that's pretty neat here <laughs> and now let me get back to right here and now here i want to add box shadow so if i get back to here we'll have that box shadow so i just go ahead say here box shadow if i get back to here you see that now we have this amazing box shadow we can also make it circle here for that let me get back to here i can simply say here border radius is going to be our uh, you know 50 percent so 50 percent and it will actually make that circle here see it's actually making only this image to be circled so what we can do here that we can also get back to right here and we can also say here border radius is going to be 50% in our this particular box here so if I do that if I get back to here so now our both image and sign box circled okay now we need to add that shine effect that fun part right so let me get back to right here and we need to target this one here right so shine box and that's going to be before so we want to add something before and here we'll say content to be nothing we don't want any content here right and now what i want here is width and height of that particular shine box so what you can do here you can simply say width is going to be around let's say uh, 200 pixel and height is going to be let's say something around uh, 150 pixel right and we'll actually actually we can change it based on need here so now if you get back to here and you can't see it right now because i haven't given any let's say uh, background here so let's add it so it's gonna be background and it's gonna be black for now and we'll change it later and if i get back to here you will not see it because i haven't set it any position yet so i need to get back to here i can simply say position and now this case is going to be absolute here 
absolute position and then it's going to be top and let's say zero here and uh, left is going to be let's say for now 100 pixel if i get back to right here you see that now we have it so it's actually having left 100 pixel well what i want here i want to set it minus here so it will be right you know behind here you see in this case right here exactly but here's the thing i want the height to be like you know big but width to be small here because we will go ahead squeeze out and then we can actually write it right so what i can do here i can get back to it here and the width is actually big here so let's make this width to be around 120 pixel and height is going to be 200 pixel so it means that our width will be less and height will be big and then we can simply skew it like at this angle and then we can animate it right so let me show you if i get back to right here and now what i need to do here first of all is that see this is actually overlapping with this image here so what i need to do here let me just go ahead and make this a 150 pixel here and it that much far now let's go ahead and skew it so for that let me get back to right here and let me just go down here and i'm gonna see here transform and it's going to be skew and in this case i want to skew it let's say 50 degree here if i get back to right here you see actually not this way i want it in a positive way so it's gonna be minus 50 here and like this way perfect perfect exactly what i want here so now we have skewed it now let me just go ahead first and let me actually add a like a real color here rgba here and it's gonna be 255 255 255 and then you can see a 0.6 here so we're actually using a rgb color which is alpha transparency which is going to add sign effect here currently i set it 0.6 percent but we can actually go down here let's say four i'll be i think good see four now that is perfect now what we need to do here is we can simply go ahead and in this case see the left is 150 well we will actually go ahead and increase it on hover so let's see how it's gonna look here so i can simply say a shine and it's gonna be box and it's gonna be on hover and this is going to be before so what do you want to do here well what i want here i want this left property to now be in positive here so let's say it's gonna be 300 pixel if i get back to right here and if i hover there see it's actually getting there see it's getting there right so that's neat here right that's it but i want let's say like smooth here so i can simply add here transition and transition is going to be let's say all in one sack here right and if i get back to here if i hover see now this is okay yeah i like it but you can see this is actually getting like you know outside the box here well what we can do here we can simply say right here overflow is gonna be hidden so overflow and it's gonna be hidden here right if i get back to right here and now you see uh -oh, amazing you see it is now working but you can see that shine box right there right so what we can do you need to completely hide it for that we can go left even more here let's say in this time i'm gonna say a 200 pixel here if i get back to here you see that now you can't see that shine box if i have this one now it's actually appearing and disappearing see so now this is really really good now it's working totally fine here great you can also use some kind of a easing effect here so let's say uh, i'm gonna say here it's gonna be easing out here something like that like this is the animation effect here and let's say here it's gonna be a little bit fast here so i'm gonna say here around 0 0.7 sec here if i get back to here you see it's quite fast here and now we are using in and out animation so that's pretty neat here so yeah this is how you can add that shine effect in your images this is very powerful right and one more thing you can do here let me just show you if i just go right here in shine box and uh, let's say actually shine box before here and what i can do here i can just go ahead and you can see left is 200 so let me just go ahead and make it 100 here and if i get back to here we have that shine effect right so you can keep it same way let me actually just make this even more cooler right i can see here 50 and uh, in 50 if i get back to here it will cover that portion here and let me actually just increase its width here so this is shine box right and width is 200 uh, by 200 this is not this one i this one sorry and i want let's say around 200 here and if i get back to here you see that now it's actually going to cover that part let me actually just go and decrease it a little bit let's say around um, 100 i guess 
and uh, now you see that I have that overlay and if you want to we can actually let's go ahead and make this even shorter layer let's say a 0 0.1 or 2 here I think 2 will be fine uh, not 2 is actually a lot like you know like light 0 0.3 will be fine here see so now we have almost half transparent overlay it's giving that new shine effect and if I hover this one it will go ahead and just make it clear the full layer with actually cool sign effect here you see so this is really good right i mean you can just go ahead and play with it like you know anyhow you wish yeah. but this is how you can cre create shine effect in your image so if you have any question let me know in the comment and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video thanks for your time signing off until next time this is rahul